How's it going guys? Dan here from Who Figure Adventures. Please excuse uh, me sounding very sniffly. I re- have really bad hay fever today. Uh, but today is the release of the new Doctor Who True Railer. Uh, so we are going to give it a watch. Uh, we're going to see what Russell and the BBC have been counting down to uh, for about two weeks now with a few cryptic teasers. Uh, and we're going to see what we... Uh, uh, have in store for the 60th. Um, I think we'll once again mostly get stuff from Special 1. Uh, I don't think we're going to see anything from Special 2 yet because uh, we're keeping that one really sort of tightly, tightly uh, under wraps. Um, and yeah, I'd, to be honest, apart from that, I don't really know what to expect really because the Christmas Day one was quite a lot of Special 1. Um, so, actually, we could see stuff from Special 2 and Special 3 as well. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping for a few reveals. Uh, Wilf. want to finally see Wilf properly. Um, and a bit more beep for me. I'd like to see some more beep for me. Um, those, are, those were two expectations, I think. I think uh, reveal... On Wilf level, so not like an old doctor returning. I think a reveal on the level of Wilf, something to uh, keep us going until the next reveal or something like that. But I don't think there'll be any doctors. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they show that same shot of Shooty at the end. But someone tell me what the hell is going on here. Uh, shot again. Uh, a new shot, I think, is unlikely. Um, well, you never know. This has been a teaser that's been hyped up for a bit. Not like when Russell just dropped the Christmas Day one uh, and announced it the night before, I think. I think he announced it on Christmas Eve or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully this one really lives up to to the hype. Uh, I'm sure it will. I mean, we're getting Doctor Who promotion in May for an episode in November. We've not seen this for... About five, six years. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, let's get on. and um, We'll discuss it afterwards. So, yeah. Without any further ado, whoa, the titles. Okay, so, just before I'm starting, I'm just looking at... Those, uh, those like, robot things that they had, uh, that was for Camden set, right there. Um... And I remember them building that entrance and seeing old pictures from it and stuff like that. Uh, so I wonder what that is. Uh, also, that looks like... Is that Tenant there? That's Tenant, isn't it? I think it is. If anything, it looks a bit like Matt Smith. Or probably some random civilian that's sort of wearing a blue coat, white shoes and a white shirt. But that looks like Tenant to me. But anyway, let's uh, let's get started. Did this face come back? Oh, it's the same shot. Goodbye. I don't think that's a plane. It's a spaceship in trouble. Black Warriors. Star Beast. Oh, oh title names. I'm sorry, Tom. Oh, Wild Blue Yonder. He's here. Driving you mad. Ooh. Laughing at the human race. <laughs> the giggle. Beep for me, brilliant. Is that it? Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor, Doctor Who YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, wow. So yeah, that's it. Um, didn't really reveal too much. I mean, we got special names actually. Let's go back and look at them. So special one for Star Beast. I mean, that's a Give them, weren't it? I think everyone was speculating like Revenge of a Toy Maker, Return of a Toy Maker, stuff like that. Uh, but straight up, just the Star Beast. We're not really hiding it anymore. It's a straight adaptation into uh, the Star Beast, which I don't mind. I've not read the comic or listened to the audio adaptation. Oh my God, I've just realised this. There's there's going to be three versions of the Star Beast. Um, 
I'm kind of wondering, do I listen to the audio, the Tom Baker audio? I think it's currently on offer, a big finish. I hope it's still on offer. I uh, think it's cool. Well, so I might check, check it out and probably pick it up if, if it is. But yeah, so the Star Beast, straight adaptation of that episode. I'm, I'm a bit surprised, to be honest, that they're doing that for episode one. You'd have thought for the first episode they might have, you know, a brand new story for Tenant, a uh, brand new story for the 14th Doctor. Um, but no, maybe have the Star Beast as special two, but special one. You'd have kind of thought, you know, a brand new story. Um, and I wonder how they're going to adapt this multi page comic into one special, especially when. We've got to spend the first oh, 20 minutes to run and re-establish all the characters and stuff. Like that. I mean, I'm sure, you know, it's Russell T. Davis. I'm sure he'll have, you know, written it perfectly. Um, special 2, Wild Blue Yonder. This isn't really saying anything to me. So, again, this is the special we've seen nothing of yet. Uh, if, I presume, uh, everything that was said... Uh, said shown after uh saying chapter one Starbeast is from special two. So I mean that could be a rough warrior spaceship. Um or I mean these bits that are redacted, I mean what is so big and hidden in this episode to really um you know to really be a surprise and that something must be huge in this episode and I can't wait to find out what. Um, when another shot here, I wonder where this is. Tenant seems to have lost his coat already in two episodes. Um, you know, I mean, what's what's got what's going off here? Where is he? Is he like? Oh, I don't know. Um, but actually, to be honest, I don't know if I actually said uh. I thought that this could be a Wrath of the uh, spaceship. It might be if it's from episode one, but I think it's shots from episode two. So, I don't think Wrath of the is in episode two. Um, then special three. Well, the giggle. <laughs> Once again, bit of a surprise name. Um, but, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> um... And I thought, you know, we because this is obvious. Well, I'm saying obviously, it might not be. This is presumably going to be Tennant's regeneration special, where he regenerates at the end into Shooty. <laughs> you know, usually for regeneration episodes, uh, regeneration episodes, you got great bombastic names: the parting of the ways, the end of time, time of the Doctor, twice upon a time, the power of the Doctor, the giggle. <laughs> something with Logopolis um, so I think that this stuff is from Special 3 uh, doesn't really show us much I think is this unit um, it might be unit we do wear black now Nice shot here. I remember seeing filming pics from them doing this shot. Yeah, nothing special. I mean, that look on Tenet. I mean, the specs and everything. The specs and everything are just amazing. Um, Anything else? Uh, So... Yeah, special one here. Uh, I'd love to know the sort of context of why they're out here and stuff like that. It seems to be some sort of little festival thing or something out in Camden. And obviously for Wrath Warriors. Uh, we saw Beat the Meat, which I'm happy about, in quite a funny shot. <laughs> Beat the Meat's going to be amazing. And they will 100% miss a trick if they are not making plush Beat the Meeps. That will just be... <laughs> Amazing. Is Beat the Meeps is gonna be the highlight of this whole series of specials, isn't it? It's just gonna be brilliant. <laughs> um but yeah, uh 
again, there's nothing... Nothing new, nothing revealed, just more of what we already know, really. Apart from, obviously, the episode titles being revealed. Um, it's, yeah, it's... Also, 2008 Vortex. I'm not a fan. Personally, in terms of the 14th Doctor and his era, I don't want much more stuff from 2008. You know, we've already got Don about, we've got Sylvia, Wilf... Um, uh, Sean as well, you know, Tenant 2, so I think that's enough 2008, you know, if if we've got like, the 2008 titles, then I don't see much of a point in them making Tenant the 14th Doctor. I, I was sort of hoping that when Tenant came back, he'd um, have his Scottish accent, but he didn't, he had his English accent, so... I'd have liked to have seen a variation of 10, if you know what I mean, like, uh, the Scottish accent and stuff. Like, it's got the same face, but different, you know. But, um, yeah. I'm hoping that we get rid of the 2008 titles and stuff, because I don't think it's going to really help much having this much 2008 stuff and Shooter Zero comes along and stuff. Um... We need to really sort of, you know, have have a bit more uniqueness. I mean, I know about tenants here and stuff like that. People are yearning for more stuff from that era. But I feel like we also need some new stuff as well. But, yeah, that is it, really. That's pretty much everything in the trailer. I don't think we'll get another trailer until, well, are we now? May... September, October time, I think. I mean, well, we've gone five months now. Last trailer was December. So, January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August, September. Yeah, October, I think, when we start. Although, maybe before, they might properly kick up the promotion around October time. Because, I mean, promotion has been ongoing, hasn't it? But, I think, you know, a proper sort of kick up the backside in October. That was a promotion. But that's just my theory. My theories are usually always wrong. Um, but until then, I'm hoping for more announcements. I'm hoping for tons of stuff and quite an exciting future ahead for the show. But yeah, that is all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Tell me uh, what you're excited for in these specials. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.